Collect the nectar from each flower using the fewest blocks possible. Write the code to help the bee collect all of the nectar. You will need lots of blocks for this challenge, but we'll learn an easier way in the next puzzle. So when you use a repeat block to loop your code, how does the computer know when it's repeated enough times? The repeat block is actually hiding a more sophisticated piece of code called a for loop, which counts from a starting value up to an ending value by a specific increment. So for example, a repeat three block counts from one to three by one, and every time it counts, it runs the code inside the loop. The for loop knows how many times it has run by using a counter variable that is set to the starting value at the beginning of the loop and has the increment added to it each time the loop is run. As soon as the counter variable is greater than the ending value, the loop stops running. So the benefit of using a real for loop instead of the repeat block is that you can actually see the counter variable and use it in your loop. So for example, if I have a series of flowers and the first one has one nectar, the second one has two nectars, and the third one has three, I can use the for loop to tell the bee to collect counter nectars each time, which would collect one at the first flower, two at the second, and three at the third. Also, in a for loop, you can increment the counter by a number other than one each time. You can potentially count by twos, fours, or even amount that changes every time through. Ah, the use of for loops makes this puzzle a lot easier. Read the code below. What will happen when you click run? The bee will move forward and collect all of the nectar from every flower. The bee will move forward and collect all of the nectar from every flower, except for one. The bee will move forward and collect one nectar from each flower. I don't know.
Help the bee collect all of the nectar. You can also use a for loop to count down. Try gathering this nectar by counting down from 5 to 1 by 1. The last number in your for loop is called the increment. Each time the loop is run, the counter variable changes by the value of the increment. Try collecting these flowers using an increment of 2. You've got this. What should your increment be to collect 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 nectar? Use the counter variable twice to solve this puzzle.
Remember, if your loop is counting up, the increment is added to your counter variable each time through. Challenge, take what you've learned about for loops and try to solve this problem. Remember, you may have to run through solutions multiple times before you figure out all of the steps. If your loop is counting down, the increment is subtracted from your counter variable each time through. What should your increment be to collect 15, then 12, then 9, 6, 3 nectar? 